Fog Wrestling back again with some more WWE news and we've got an update on Matt Riddle. We made that video the other day about Matt Riddle so I thought we'd give you an update but Matt Riddle publicly breaks silence and missed rumours about his status with WWE. As previously noted, Matt Riddle was allegedly written off WWE television due to a failed drug test and that's why an injury angle took place during the December 5th, 2022 edition of WWE Raw. On Tuesday, Matt Riddle's ex-girlfriend Danella Petro published videos about the situation by saying rehab is not going to fucking help him and WWE needs to fire his ass. Today, Riddle himself has pub publicly commented on his status amid I'd missed the rumours. Uh, I've been working a lot myself lately and I've been saying no and setting boundaries for the first time ever and certain people aren't happy about it, but I couldn't be healthier or happier. Thank you for all the support. Is it, I don't know if this is one of his uh, porn stars, porn star uh, girlfriends for Matt Riddle, like, but you know what? It's good to see the guy do good um, and, uh, you know, you can't... We already, we've already liked that tweet. Oh-ho! We already liked your tweet, Matt Riddle, son. Did we? We already did like it. I think that's the reason. Excellent, Bubba. You're the real shooter. You impress me every day. The Iron Sheik, man. If you don't follow, get to follow. Iron Sheik is the fucking man. How many people follow him? Look at my people that follow him. Fucking hell. Even, even the guy for the Mayans follows the Iron Sheik. Undertaker. I don't know how the Undertaker follows him, like, but man, he, he does. He does well in a... Uh, well and truly, but that, that's good news that Matt Riddle is uh, setting boundaries and hopefully getting back. Because I mean, you don't want to see anyone go down that path. I mean, look at the Hardys. Jeff Hardy's essentially ruined his career. Over, I mean, Jeff Hardy still had a fantastic career. I'm not saying Matt Riddle will have a, like the, anywhere near the career of Jeff Hardy, but there's so many people in wrestling where drugs or drink have absolutely derailed their career. You know, like Scott Hall, 2002. I mean, there's just loads of examples of it, but you know, hopefully Riddle does get back to doing what he does and you know that's entertainment here the wrestling's come on and in the final bit of news here because there's not there's a bit of a sad, dead news Deb he's on another fed to watch go check out the AEW Dynamite review uh, Dax Harwood on Road, Road Dog as a person I don't know how much how I don't know how much respect I have for him so I think from the day Road Dog met me he didn't like me we had a match that you may have may have heard of against American Alpha Dallas NXT Dallas that's one of my favourite of all time I had my, what that match was I had a story I wanted to tell I knew the false finishes I wanted again fake pish I knew exactly how I wanted the first front half to go I knew exactly how it was going to work he offered an idea the night before Dallas we were talking with Jordan and Gable I was explaining them the story that I wanted to tell and he offered an idea I didn't shoot it down I just didn't think it would fit into the story I wanted to tell he went to an unnamed source who was a fairly big part of the WWE office and proceeded to bury me and told me told that person that I thought I knew everything and I would never try to learn anything and all this stuff so you know I had my own reservations about him and then later that year I want to say it was right about December there was some sort of gimmick gauntlet tag team match on Smackdown for some reason the fans thought Revival was going to make their debut there, the fans were tweeting and freaking out about it and when the match was over you know, we were heels. So I went on Twitter and said, you fans thought we were going to debut in the main roster in a stupid gimmick gauntlet match, you've lost your mind. Or something like that, at the time Road Dog was booking and he took offence to that because I said something, I said stupid gimmick. He proceeded right on Twitter that if I kept it up he would make sure that I'll never make it to the main roster, which if I never make it to the main roster that cuts into my money, which goes into my money that I make for my family, which I can provide for my daughter. Who can go to college or I can make sure my wife has food on the table. And that's what bothered me, right? And see if I read any more out, because fuck him, right? The guy the guy absolutely sucks. He sucks, right? Dax Harwood, he goes on to talk about Raw 25, blah, 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 put them over, blah, right? These are the same fucking guys who would happily go back to NXT so they can put on their five-star matches for Dave Meltzer, right? So fuck you, Dax Harwood, mate. I don't like you. I don't like the revival. Your family sucks. Your tag team partner sucks. All you vanilla midget bums with flabby stomachs suck. That's it for Fog Wrestling. I'm not reading any more of that pish. Matt Riddle, get better. Dax Harwood, go fuck yourself. Till next time. Peace.